Qigong for optimal health. And let's begin today by thinking about our breath, bringing our awareness to the breath. So inhale through the nose and out through the nose. Imagine you could soften your whole skin, relax the skin and notice how that feels. And begin to slowly lengthen the spine. So stretching the neck and the head up towards the sky, but sinking down into your hips. And let's bring your awareness to your tailbone. And the next three breaths, let's breathe from the tailbone up into the mind, take a pause at the top. And then exhale, and imagine you could follow the air as it travels down back to the tailbone and then out, it drips off the spine. Two more deep breaths like that. And see if you can relax your facial muscles. You can wiggle your bottom jaw. Oh, get into the TMJ. Ah. And exhale with a big ha. Ah. Let the scalp be soft. Let your shoulders feel heavy. And bring the awareness to the arms as the heaviness and relaxation travels into the elbows, into the forearms, wrists hands, fingertips, and take a deep breath into your chest and sense it expand. And then exhale and sense it deflate. And the next breath, breathe into the back of the lungs. And you'll feel your back expand. And then you feel it contract. The next breath, see if you can breathe into your rib cage. Puff it out. And let it go. And your next breath, breathe into your belly. And again, into the belly, sensing the belly expand and contract. and relax your pelvic floor muscles. Let the relaxation scan down through your legs, knees, calves, ankles, feet. Last deep breath. And good, I just wanted to start with some breathing. We're gonna do a little movement and then we're gonna go back into the breathing. I'm going to stand up. And let's ring the temple bell nice and easy today. This easy does it. And thank your body. Notice how it feels. Maybe it feels stiff, maybe it feels loose. Bring the hands up over the shoulder. Give yourself a tap. Look behind. And then let's bring the hands onto the chest. Little vibration massage for the lungs. Thank your lungs. And then the heart. Bring the hands onto the rib cage. 
beneath the breaths. And think about the hands behind, stimulating the kidneys, and the hands in front stimulating the core organs. And then let's bring a little up and down with the knees, up and down. A little twist. And let's do three more and make it a little bit more dynamic. Twist a little further. Last three each side. And very nice. Bring the feet to about hip distance apart. And again, let's lengthen the spine. So float the head up, sink the hips down. Deep breath for the entire body. And smile to your mind. So this next hour is all about your mental, physical, emotional health. And thank yourself for taking care of yourself. Let's do some flowing motion. A little bit more breath work, but this time with a little more intention, different intention. All we're doing is we're going to float the hands up with the inhale. So we float up, nice long deep breathing. And then sink down, palms down. I like to imagine I'm drawing yin energy or earth energy up my body, all the way to my head. And then as I exhale, I relax and I imagine the energy flowing back to the earth. And go your speed. Let's do four more here. And as you exhale, allow stress and tension to flow out of your body. Imagine fresh energy flowing up, like that, giving yourself a bath. And then it flushes the old energy down. No resistance, let it flow. Two more. The hands are going to stay the same, but we're going to shift the weight onto the balls of the feet this time. You can lift the heels just enough to allow a piece of paper to be slid underneath the heels. And then sit back and let the weight go on the heels. Lift the toes up. On the inhale, roll the weight onto the balls of the feet. If you want to play with balance, it's fine to come up higher. And exhale, roll onto the heels. This is a, an important balance practice, forward, backward balance. Often, you know, I'm reaching up something in the top shelf. And let's do three more. Imagine energy rising up. At this point, I like to imagine hands from heaven lifting me up and bringing me up. And then they let me drop down and I float. Last one. And take a nice deep breath. And we're, I'd like to continue with a little bit more breath work today. And we'll go into ocean breathing. And ocean breathing, the, hand, the palms face behind and there's a slight arch and you can gaze upward and you inhale here. And with the exhale, tuck, curl your spine and the hands go out. It's like the wave going out to the horizon. Inhale, fresh energy flows through your body. And let's draw old tired energy out. So grief, 
worry, impatience, let it go. Bathe yourself with what you need. And I like to make a sound. If I blow out through my mouth, it makes sort of an ocean sound. Inhale. Let's do three more as slow as you can. Think about what it is you're letting go of. What is it you're releasing? What are you bathing yourself with? Optimal health, happiness. Go as slow as you can for the last one. And there's a modification. We exhale, ocean breathe out, and feel the energy release out of your fingers. And with the inhale, draw energy up like a wave. Hold the breath as you bathe yourself. And then exhale. Inhale, wave. Bring it through the head, the heart, the body. And when you're ready, exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Go, you can bring your head a little closer to the knees. And get a nice big wave. Bathe yourself. Open the heart. Now let's do three more. And last two. Exhale, letting go. Feeling the release. Inhale. And let the energy flow right back to Mother Earth. Let's do a few neck rolls. We'll twirl our head. So let's do six on one side, six on the other, and take your time. Notice what you hear. Notice what you feel. And when you're ready, go the other way. And thank your neck. Think of all the little vertebra in the cervical spine. Imagine you're massaging out tension and pain, tightness. Last one. Ooh. And then take your right arm up to the sky, reach. And a little twist as you look at your hand. Swimming through the sea of chi. The back stroke. But you want to stretch out through your body. So energy out of the fingers. Stretch it up and then light twist back. Let's do three more each side. Coordinating with the breath, inhale up, 
and exhale down. Breathe into your shoulder socket. Do a little spiraling dragon. It's really great exercise for the shoulders and neck. Let's start with the left hand palm up overhead. And palm is up the whole time. This is also called spiraling teacup. So imagine you have a teacup in your hand and then spiral the fingers into the navel, out to the side, and then reach across your body. Big spiral. And then little spiral, elbows and wrists. Inhale. And exhale. And you can make it as big or small as you like. Let's do three more. And if you notice, I'm getting my whole body into it. My pelvis comes forward as I look up. And then I stick my tail out. Last one on this side. You can see I'm leaning back and forward. We're going to reverse the arm, reach out to the side, reach out and over, and then pull the energy into the body. Little spiral. Inhale up. And exhale. This is great for the lungs. It stretches the lungs and all the muscles in the boobs. Last two. Sense your tail. Give your head and body a little wobble. We're gonna do this on the other side. You get your right hand above your head, and then we'll go out to the side, into the belt. And just take your time as your body gets used to the movement on the new side. Inhale up. And exhale. So there's an opening and a closing. We kind of close here, and then we open. Three more on this side. Make it yours. Think about your tail. And then let's reverse and go the other way. Open. I find this exercise almost hypnotic with all the spirals. And last one. Bring your hands in front of you, both palms face out to your left. You know, you're just a little swimming dragon. Both arms up, come through center, bring the energy to your belly. Go with the flow, down current, all the way up, and then push against the current. Bring the energy to the belly. Lifting the weight, push. And then notice the flow. And then there's effort as you push. No resistance flow. Let's do two more. Follow your hands. And 
time we're coming back to center. Both hands face off to the right. I'll start big. Inhale and hold the breath as you push. Exhale. Be empty as you flow. Inhale up. And hold it. Exhale. Flow. I like this exercise. It shows us the subtlety of push and pull or flow and push effort and then no effort flow. Last two. And good. Give your head and neck a little wobble. Exhale through the mouth. Nice big exhale, blow up, blow out the candles. Let's stress go. And then lift and lower your shoulders. And then shake the arms, shake the hands. Let's bring a shimmy into the body. You can do your fancy dance moves. Shake your hips. And then bring the, get the tail to wag really fast, shaking up our internal organs. Exhale through the mouth. Shake your knees back and forth. And then lift up, shake the hips, uh, shake the feet. And good. Let's do three big, big blithers. So this is where we shake and make a funny noise and shake out any frustration, shake out grief, shake out, shake out fear, shake out worry. Just let it go. We'll do three big breaths. <sighs> Little bounce. Let everything just be crazy. Don't worry what you look like. Nobody can see you. I can't see you. Ah, smile to your body. I bet that felt really good. And then place your hands on your heart and see if you can sense your heart beating. This heart that we you know, don't pay attention to unless there's something wrong. And now we can sense it beating and take a deep breath as you thank your heart. And then thank your body. See where you might be able to relax a little bit. One more deep breath. Letting the body calm down. Okay. So notice how your neck and head feel. You can squeeze your shoulders up. I know at the beginning some good people said that they were a little tight in the neck and shoulders. And then begin to rub your hands together. Moving on to some self-massage. But I like to um, connect to the external energies and then bring that healing energy of Mother Earth and Father Sky and nature into into the recipe here for optimal health. And let's, we're gonna clap our hands and that stimulates the lao gum, this healing portal in the palms. So clap. And let's keep the hands at about the solar plex level. And notice the sensations in your hands. And notice where you might be able to relax in your body, soften. Eat. Smile to your arches as they open and let your roots sink into the earth. Oh, doesn't that feel good? Mother Earth welcomes you, immediately starts sharing her vitamins and minerals and pure water, all of her healing and energy and compassion. And take a deep breath, like sipping from a straw, sip it right up into the head.
And now bring the awareness to the top of the head. And let's connect to the infinite energy of our universe. Oh, the new moon has been so beautiful with Venus right overhead. I hope tonight you can go out and take a look at the moon. It's so pretty. Breathing in the energy of our moon. New moon, new possibilities. It's a good time to set intentions for yourself for this month. Maybe the things that you might have been putting off. Maybe we'll get to them this month, and if not, next month, there's another new moon. So breathe in that beautiful moon energy, this Venus who is right above the moon, planet of love. Bathe yourself in the energy of love. Notice how that makes you feel. And then soften your whole body. Let's open the heart. Connecting to beautiful spring day. Energy of youthfulness. Anything is possible. Optimism. Take a deep breath, bringing, breathing in the fresh energy of springtime. And let it flow through your body. And let's play the accordion. We're going to work with these three treasures of energy. As you inhale, breathe into your heart. And then imagine the energy flowing through your arms into your hands. Let's do that three more times. This time, just sense what you feel in your hands. Can you feel that elastic, like pulling apart an elastic band, stretching it? And then as you exhale, that energy, like there's a water balloon and you're compressing it and squeezing it. Let's do two more. Playing with the energy, discovering it and sensing it. I think it's such a crazy sensation, feeling it, that kind of pushback. Lots of healing and love. Gathering from the three treasures right into your heart and you hold it in your hands and give it a little squeeze and you can mold it and perhaps you can feel that opposing magnetic sensation. Let's bring this right into the heart. Breathe it in, both hands on the heart and it'll pump into our bloodstream. Tip the fingertips together. Let's go on to the top of the head. Wake up the brain. Smile to your brain. Thank you, brain. Wake up, blow out any thoughts that you don't need right now. Like you're blowing out a candle, let them go. And let's tip the chin forward and tap the back of your neck. And then let's make fists. And by using the top knuckle, you can get into the occipital ridge. So rub your fists back and forth. That little knuckle right into, right underneath the skull almost. And then pound on your neck. Start up at the occiput, work your way down to the shoulders and back up inside of the neck and the sides of the neck. Exhale through the mouth. Let's do this for two more breaths, pounding on the neck, pounding away tension and stress. <sighs> Ooh, that felt good. And then take your left fist and pound on your shoulder. You can even pound on the side of the neck if that feels okay. On top of the shoulder, behind, and then let's, you decide how hard today, come down the top of the arm, spread the fingers wide. Pull each finger and thank it as you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then gentle fist. Let's brush. 
And then let's go on the other side. Pounding away tension and stress. Pound on the neck if that feels good. Those feel good. I like to pound on the, kind of the back near the shoulder blade. And then we'll come down the arm. Little self massage is so good for our health. Let's pull the fingers. Thank you. Very gentle. If you have arthritis, be gentle here. You don't want to irritate it. Let's, let's rub the hands just for a moment. Get the blood to flow into the hands, into the web spaces. And then when you're ready, coming up the inside. And then brush. Fingertips onto the chest. Thank you, lungs. And you're, no, just know when you do this, you're dispelling toxins. Exhale through the mouth, the heart. Onto the breastbone. Thank you, thymus. Thank you, immune system. Let's come onto the belly. Thank you, digestive organs. If you like tapping, that's good too. Onto your right side. Thank you, liver, gallbladder. And your left side, thank you, spleen and pancreas and stomach. Go on to the back. Thank you, adrenal glands and kidneys. Make your way down to the waist. Find your sacrum. Find your pelvis. And into the glutes, a little gentle slapping. Get around to the front. And then underneath the navel, thank your sexual organs and elimination organs. Go down the outside of the legs. Round the toes, up the inside of the leg. Let's do that two more times. Thank you, legs. Thank you, feet and ankles. Thank you, knees. Give your knees a little rub. Oh, that feels good. And then close your eyes. Let yourself drift and thank your body. Thank your organs. Ah, thank you. Thank you, muscles, tendons and all my systems. Thank you, body. Ooh, a beat just came in. I have my door open. Oh, that's nice. Before we begin the April Cades, let's do just a little bit of crane. And crane helps us to be uh, patient and balanced, makes us feel joyful. And we'll begin by Lifting the right heel off the foot and let's fly. Inhale. And then exhale, sink into the right foot. Inhale, float. And exhale. Level one, keep the toe on the ground. Level two, you hover just a little. You can always put the foot back down. Know that you are graceful. and beautiful, just like the crane. Level three, you float the knee up. And notice your feathers, your fingers. Fingers are down as you lift, and then the fingers float, fingers up. Breathe in joy and happiness. And then let it sink into your body. Joy, happiness. Breathe in patience. Mm. 
lengthen your neck and gaze. Tuck your chin slightly. That'll give you a little bit more length in the neck. Let's do one more east side, and this time, breathing in creativity. What do we do to entertain ourselves and make our lives even better? Energy of creativity. And let's bring our wingtips into the lower dantian. Lengthen the spine with a deep breath. Exhale till you're empty. Smile to your body as you take the next deep breath. And the third breath is for the mind. And tell yourself you're a brilliant, creative person. And thank you, mind. Take an extra breath. Notice how you feel. And then do a little bit of a march. And it's getting some blood into the feet and legs. We're gonna begin the eight brocades. And we start with the feet together. And we align ourselves between earth and heaven, sensing your roots, Sensing the light of heaven beaming down on you. And sensing your connectivity to everything in the world. And let's begin. Float the arms out to the side. And then reach and grasp your left thumb with your right fist. Gaze at your fists and bring the energy to the lower dungeon. Let's shrug. And we're gonna step out to the left and allow the hands to float down the knees as if you're brushing off dust. And then fingertips alive as we pull earth medicine up and deliver it to your belly. Palms up, engage the pelvic floor muscles, tighten. And then exhale, release, palms still up, bring the thumbs in towards the neck, sink into your knees and push as if you're pushing the weight of the world off your shoulders. And let's climb the ladder to heaven. We do this six times. This is, first brocade is called holding up heaven. Climbing, and then let's gather the stars, gather the sun and the moon. Palms down as you guide the heaven energy through the head, the neck, into the core. Soften, let the energy flow. Gather earth energy, inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, soften. Imagine a river of light flowing down your body. Inhale, gather and pull up to the heart. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. That new moon energy, soften. Unlimited potential possibilities flows through your body. There's a transition. We gather earth life in heaven and bathe ourselves. Both palms are up and the thumbs touch and let the thumbs rest in the navel for a breath. Take a step out to your left, a little wider stance. This is called punching with an angry glare. It's also known as uh, releasing issues, letting go. Let's inhale, engage the pelvic floor muscles. Squeeze them tight 
And then both palms out in front, push. Rotate the palms up, make light fists and pull fresh energy back in. Starting with the left palm, sink into the knees, slight twist, punch out and release. And then inhale, bring in. Release tension, worry, grief. Bringing in acceptance and peace. Let go of anger and frustration. And bring in flexibility and kindness. One more each side. Think about what are you letting go of? What do you need? What do you bring in? Now take your fists and shake them as if you had any tension, anger, or any, and we're gonna throw it away, let it go. And then shake your hands in case anything sticks to it. Let's take a little step in, transition, inhale, and exhale. Palms up, thumbs touch in the navel. The next brocade is called balancing yin and yang. Let's pull the hands across the body, let it flow down to the knees, fingers alive, pulling up, but we're gonna make the yin yang simple. So let's have your right hand on top. Represents balance and harmony, so let's turn it over. The top hand pushes down, palm to the earth. Other hand pushes up, and now let's twist to the left. Twist as far as you can. Take a full breath here. And with the inhale, unwind. And the palms face each other. We're pulling the yin up out of the earth. We're pulling the yang down. And exhale, clear out the body. Twist, full deep breath. As you inhale, draw yin up, yang down. Exhale, clear, twist. Twist your eyes too. Look all the way to the left. And with the inhale, unwind. Exhale. Notice what you see as you twist. Twist the furthest thing around to the right. Inhale, unwind. Last one each side. Inhale, unwind. And let it go. Resting breath. Relax the arms down, take a wider stance. This is called the wise owl looks around. I'm leaning forward, right arm comes across the body, just flops, and then I rotate. I look up, look over to the right, and then I look down. We'll do two more. Inhale. And exhale.
when you're ready, go the other way. And focus, notice what you see. I'm noticing some cobwebs. <laughs> okay. Last one. Roll up. Let's step in a little, gather, deep breath in, gathering the sun, the moon, the stars, and give yourself a celestial bath. Resting breath. Picking up the heavy pails of water. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, hands behind. And then let's bend down. This is a squat. Go as far as you like, and then pick up the heavy pails of water. Look over your right shoulder and open. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open the heart. Let's place the buckets down. Now feel the shoulder blades separating, stretching apart, wide back. Inhale, pull up. Look over the left shoulder. Exhale, squat. Inhale up. And exhale down. Widen your shoulder blades. Inhale up. And exhale. Last one. And this time, as you set the pails down, keep the legs straight. Get a nice stretch. We're going to hang out here for three breaths in forward bend. Let the head relax, shake it. And then relax your whole body. Give your tail a little shake. And then soften, relax. One more deep breath. Bend your knees and roll up. And transition, resting breath. Quieting the monkey mind. So we're going to compress our ears. I think everybody has done this with me. Once you can't hear anymore, you rise up onto the balls of the feet and you, then you come down with bent knees four times and then you rise up and then you come down with straight legs. So there's a little bounce. And then we'll look to the right, look to the left. And I love that moment where we take our hands away from our ears. Quieting the monkey mind. Inhale up to the heart. Exhale. Inhale, close off your ears.
Inhale. And exhale. Let's take a wide stance, pulling the bow to shoot the buzzer. With left hand, you make a V with your thumb and first finger, and you're going to peer through the sight. The right hand sweeps across as if you're going to pull the bow. Left arm extends as straight, and you're strong. Notice I'm in a if you want to go deep, that's fine. You can go as deep as you like, but you gaze through. This is what you're aiming for. And then release the bow, kind of a poof. Gather, bring fresh energy to your heart. Look through the sight. Let's inhale and release it. Sweep away the non-essentials, the distractions, the excuses. Bring what's really important into your heart. Aim and release. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, rise up, inhale, and exhale, one more each side. This time, let's stay for an extra breath. Extend, feel the strength of your body. Take a breath in, let's come up, and exhale. We're gonna stay for an extra breath. Right arm straight. And then inhale, come up. Let's embrace Tiger, embracing all your challenges, embrace them with enthusiasm and courage and dignity. And let's let go. Let's step in a little closer. Bathe yourself with celestial light. Deep breath. And tracing the yin-yang meridians, hands come up in front of the body, onto the throat. Push up your face, give yourself a facelift over the head, onto the shoulders, neck, hands, and prayer at the heart, and then come across the ribs, and then down the back, all the way to the feet, composting old energy. Fingers alive as you come up. Delivering fresh earth medicine to your lower dantian. Bring it to the middle dantian, upper dantian. Breathe love into your heart. And send love to your kidneys, love to your lower body. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Gather earth life heaven. Deep breath. Scan your body. Notice where you can relax. And thank your body. Thank your heart, mind. Smile to your spirit and thank it. Imagine you're being bathed in the golden light of your own spirit. Loving, creative, unique, passionate. I know all of you love life, love nature. And then let's shake it out. We'll close the April gates.
reaching out and in front, grasp your left thumb. Very nice. And um, if you'd like, go ahead and sit down. I, we're going to end today with uh, meditation, and I'm going to read a little Chinese poetry. So you could feel free to make yourself comfortable. Sense your feet firmly rooted into the earth and the head floating up towards heaven. Feel the air on your skin and let your skin soften. Imagine your skin is breathing. Every breath in, new opportunity and every breath that new opportunity flows into every cell of your being. And say to yourself, I am well. I am happy. I am peaceful. I am well. I am happy. I am peaceful. My body is well. My heart is happy. My mind is peaceful. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy. And may all beings be peaceful. Today, I am well. I am happy. I am peaceful. Thank you. And for the next 30 seconds, breathe in gratitude. Think of all your blessings, your loved ones, your healthy body, your brilliant mind. And the poem I'm going to read today is called The Cloud Dissects Itself. Take a just big brief moment. I was born in the old home of the sun. My tomb will be the blue green ocean. Just like the tiny meteorite in the sky, the lights of the fishing boats returning late in the night will be the tears of my mourners. I always remember many years ago, there was a girl who loved to dress in red. She slowly walked through the human world with gestures of mist, with the rhythm of rain, with the melody of a flowing stream and the flames and snowflakes she scattered so freely became the equator and the North and South Poles. I always remember, like the tiny meteorite in the sky, the ocean is my emerald tomb, the lights of the fishing boats homeward bound in the late night are the teardrops of my mourners. This is a poem by a Chinese poetess, Lin Ling. I just love this, this uh, image of 
she slowly walked through the human world with gestures of mist, with the rhythm of rain, with the melody of a flowing stream. Oh, so gentle. And the flames, well, if you'd like, um, what I'll do is I'll take a picture of this poem and I have everybody's email and so I will send it to you. Um, it's uh, this book, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's, I'll show you, it's the Women Poets of China. I don't know if you can see it, but I will send you a picture of the cover and it's just delightful poems. Um, this book was originally published in 1972 and I became aware of it when I was uh, teaching Tai Chi and Qigong on a cruise ship. And uh, it was in the library. It was a semester at sea, so they had quite a huge library. And um, nobody had taken the book out since 1978. <laughs> I was the one. And I just kept, I just fell in love with it and I ordered it. I was able to find it. And um, there's just beautiful poems. 